I ended up not taking that uh, road. Um, uh, I think what had happened is I accidentally added that a waypoint. I accidentally touched the screen and it got added to my path. So I, that's why I was headed to somewhere in the middle of the uh, forest. Um, so I just turned around, got back on the road and I'm back out as you can see on the coast. I'm in Hashikami. Uh, I'm about oh, a third of the way of my target, which is uh, Kuji. Um, I'm making very good time. Um, so we'll see. I might go past Kuji. I just shoot to as many train stations as possible. Depends on what the uh, road conditions are. If there's hills. I mean, I am on the coast. So it tends to be a little bit roller coastery. Um, the city was quite humid and hot. I was concerned about that. I think I'm just going to just slam... Uh, stop at the vending machines as you can see there's vending machines over there uh, and just take down whatever I can um, but it cooled off considerably when I got down to the coast here uh, it's still really humid uh, it rained overnight and that uh, the water is evaporating so but uh, it's not horrible it's not optimal but it's not horrible uh, from Kuji I'm going to take the train or maybe another station past Kuji, but ultimately I'm going to Kamaishi. Kamaishi was hit pretty hard, uh, but it's a 2011 tsunami. Um, it's an industrial city. It's mainly known for its ironworks, I think. There is a large Kanon, so I'll probably end up visiting there. Uh, and then I have to make a decision on what to do for tomorrow. I'm not quite sure where I want to go. I, my plan, I have to be in Sendai on the 23rd. That's it because I'm meeting somebody there. But otherwise, I have a, a little bit of flexibility once I get to Kamaishi. I can continue down the coast. Uh, riding and catching the train. Or I can go up into the mountains. There's this place called Tono that I'm interested in. Uh, Tono is kind of a fairy tale area. Some kappa live there apparently. And then I would either come back to the coast or go to inland and then ride there, ride around in that area. But I have to make that decision. Um, Hachinohe. Uh, I thought I was going to be a little bit disappointed with Hachinohe because I got off of the bullet train the Shinkansen at Hachinohe station I had to ride oh, about four or five miles to my uh, hotel I was gonna drop off my things um, it was really sprawly very urban not very pretty a lot of cars kind of zipping through uh, I didn't think I was gonna like Hachinohe and then I realized that the uh, Hachinohe station with the the bullet train the shinkansen it was probably it had to be it's not the original hachinohe area it's not where the hachinohe town was centered on uh the shinkansens they weren't built i think in that area probably not to the 80s or 90s 90s anyway um So they had to build it outside of the populated area. When I got to the Hon Hachinohe, like the original Hon Hachinohe Ekisa, where, where I was staying, you know, it was much nicer. It's still an industrial city, but, you know, uh, it had its charms. And I went down to the Tanisash coast, just rode around because I wasn't feeling very well. So I didn't do any heavy riding. Uh, you know, and I, now I have a very positive view of uh, the area. Anyway, talk to you guys later.